I was the champion. That's the first thing that I saw when I walked into the building. After I ran in 30 minutes after my match had already ended. You see, I missed my match. I missed my chance to be the first ever Open the Freedom Gate champion. Because instead of being to the show on time, I was busy sitting in seven and a half hours of traffic. So, so when I finally get to the building, I look up at that screen and I see Seema. A man that I hold in such high regard, a man I'm a fan of, a huge fan of. Going at it with my trainer, landing my quack mush in the ring, and, and I don't know what's going on, so the first thing I do is I go out and I wait by the curtain because I wanted to see what just happened. I wanted to talk to Mike and figure out what it was that just, that just went down in that ring. And he just starts screaming, he's going off, he's talking about how super crazy he goes in there and he starts attacking Skyda. He starts going at Jorge Rivera. Because he still holds a grudge that back in 1988, he lost his mask to Jorge, and then Sima would then take advantage of what Super Crazy did and sneak one over on his trainer. Man, this made Mike so mad. He was livid, he was screaming. And then he screams out, I would give anything to get those two guys in the ring just one more time. Well, you know what they say, when one door closes, another one opens up. So Dragon Gate USA, I'm coming to you. On January 23rd, at the Congress Theater in Chicago, make the match. Myself and my trainer, Lightning Mike Quackenbush, against the Dragon Gate icon, Seema, and Super Crazy.